Hey guys, I just won big on a national level photography competition and I've been invited to actually represent my country in the world of photography now, so pretty exciting stuff. I thought I'd make a video for you guys discussing uh, my win and the competition, breaking down some of the pictures that I entered and the outcome, give you guys a few tips and tricks so that you might have some success as well as break down maybe some of the criteria the judges are looking for when you enter a competition like this. So we're gonna go over a few things today. Stick with me as we kind of celebrate and also give you guys some tools so you might uh, jump in and do some of the same stuff. By no means do you have to be the best photographer in the world to enter image competition. It does make you better quickly. And uh, I'm not the best photographer by any means and I'm definitely not the worst, but uh, let's dive in and talk about it. Here we go. Well guys, today we're back talking about photography competitions and pretty much everything that you need to know to enter and to hopefully win one. So let's start with the basics and let's squash a few myths right off the bat. Do you have to be a professional to enter? Absolutely not. And really who decides what and who a professional is? It's kind of a gray area in this thing because it is an art form. You don't have to have any requirements unless it says so in the actual competition. So make sure you read the guidelines to see if you first of all qualify, but by no means do you have to be a certain level or be the very best photographer for the most part in image competitions that are out there. Following up on that, you don't need the best gear. You don't need to have the newest technology and the best lenses and spend a million dollars to enter these. I guarantee you if you Google right now a picture with your camera, even if it's a couple hundred dollar camera, your mind will be blown at some of the pictures that you see. It's not about the gear necessarily. Personally, when I'm looking at a competition, I look at the previous years and the winners and to see the categories and the judges and what they're really looking for and what my competition's like. And don't worry if these pictures are incredible. Don't worry if they travel around the world for a living taking pictures in Africa and have these amazing opportunities that you might not have. It's not about being able to travel and to be honest, I don't have a huge massive budget for traveling nor do I really leave here very often. And you don't have to either. Use what's available to you and it's not about what you see of course, it's about how you see it. So I'm kind of living proof that you don't really need to have a huge budget and have huge travel expenses and amazing opportunities to win at competition. It's just that simple. So let's talk about the competitions themselves. Where did you find it? Is it strictly online? Is it a local competition? There's thousands of competitions these days, varying in credibility, what you can win, and your competition of course. So I really suggest the first thing that you do is really do your research about the competition that you enter. I cannot stress enough that you need to read and reread the competition rules, guidelines, and fine print to make sure that they're not going to take your image and sell it for profit or that you lose the rights to your image or some crazy thing like that. Make sure it's legitimate and try your best to figure out if it's going to be worth your time and if it's maybe reputable. More and more these days you're finding a lot of sketchy image competitions out there so be really careful with the ones you choose. I personally like to enter the local ones myself or find an association or maybe a photography club near you. That can be really rewarding as well as meeting great people and you know chatting and growing with uh, friends and like-minded people around you. Next let's talk about the image competition criteria. And like I said you need to read and reread and really make sure that the category that you're choosing to enter, if there, if there are categories, that you're really really paying close attention and that your image fits perfectly in there. And there's two things to say about this. Well, one, make sure it fits in there for sure. Make sure you're not getting it in the wrong one because it will be probably disqualified immediately. But also, push the limits on the category that you are entering. You know, if you enter the same thing, uh, judges have seen a trillion of these pictures. You gotta be unique and you gotta stand out for sure. Next, let's talk about judging criteria. And this is the stuff that the judges use and they're trained on to basically judge your picture in a variety of aspects. And this is pretty common across the board. This can include things like impact, creativity, storytelling, technical ability, lighting, subject matter. There's a lot to consider when doing this. And really when you're looking at your picture, 
kind of maybe break down these things and see and maybe rate for yourself so you have an idea about what they might be thinking. It's great to familiarize yourself with what the judges are thinking and then when you put your picture in, hopefully you have a better chance of scoring higher. Here's a list of criteria that you should be considering when putting in your picture and maybe just for your own sake, see how it rates in your mind. So you're gonna be entering your best pictures, your most passionate work as an artist, and they're gonna rip it apart. They're gonna criticize it and they're gonna basically break it down to everything that they think it should be. And that can be tough sometimes, so why are you doing it? Well, fame, fortune, glory, money, there's lots of reasons, but think of it also as a tool to really, really grow as a photographer. The criticism or constructive criticism that you get can go a long way. So I really suggest regardless of how you score or how you do in the competition, really listen to what people are saying so that you can grow as an artist and hopefully do better next time. So now I've had quite a few years of experience in competitions, both regionally, nationally, and now headed to the world. So I, as promised, have five tips for you guys. And these are things that I thought might save you the most time and uh, mistakes that you might make. Number one, and it's an easy one, get out there and do it. Enter that competition, get that little voice inside your head out of here. The one that says you're not good enough or that you're scared or you're fearful, get it out of here. Just go for it. I believe in you, you can do it. The faster you do it, the more you'll learn and the faster you'll win your first competition. Number two, read and reread again the rules and the criteria. Make sure your picture is going into the right category and up your editing game. Become a master at whether it's Lightroom or Photoshop. Do what you gotta do to get to that next level and really take your pictures from blah to amazing. And sure it takes time, but there's lots of resources on here on YouTube and maybe I'll throw a couple in the description for you. Number three, get feedback. Ask your friends for feedback. Get that constructive criticism from your friends, from people you look up to, from photographers that you admire. Just get feedback. Learn more and more. Don't take it personally. That's a really great way to grow. Number four, enter your best work, but at the same time, be really careful that you're not too emotionally attached or invested into your work. And that's really hard to say because of course you're gonna be. And remember that the judges aren't going to be. So really try not to take it personally, but do for sure have that courage to put your best work forward. And number five, push the limits, be creative. Judges don't wanna see the same thing over and over. So find your category and then push the limits of it. And sure, it could go either way, but really that's one of the best ways to grow that I know of. Well, there's my five tips for you guys and I hope you got something out of that. So before we move forward and start breaking down some of my pictures that have done pretty well recently, I just wanted to stop and say thanks so much for watching guys and if you're new here, maybe consider hitting that like and subscribe button. So let's jump in and break down some of the pictures that have done pretty well for me recently in some competitions and try and find out why. Let's go. So looking at our first image here, this image scored an accepted and this is on a scale from accepted, merit being higher and excellence being the highest. And of course there is an option for not accepted, but of course I wouldn't be showing this to you if it was not accepted. So getting some feedback and looking back on this picture, yeah, there's definitely a few things that I would have changed. Now looking at it, I find the background a little bit distracting and there are just a few things that I might have cleaned up on the feathers. But all in all, I still love this image. It was a great experience and uh, I just love nature in general. And let's bring up our criteria so we can see maybe what the judges were thinking at this time and see maybe why it only scored an accepted. A lot of the time when you do enter competitions, they'll give you a report card or just a bunch of feedback on your image. So really take that and listen to what they're saying so that you can improve the next time. This next image here actually scored a merit, um, which is pretty good. And this is actually in kind of a fine art category. It's called Experimental Unclassified. And this is actually not a heck of a lot of editing done. This is a natural prism just showing the light and I actually didn't make very many changes to it. This is just with some saturation bumped up and just seeing the beautiful nature at work um, with of course a little bit of an edit with that man there um, just for some effect, just for some depth. And I really like this photo. What do you guys think? When you're entering a fine art category or competition, I find a lot of the times that the judging is a bit inconsistent. And I think that's because fine art is definitely just subjective. I've seen and heard judges arguing over what an image should get in a fine art category. 
it is a hard category to judge. And at the end of the day, it's just one person's opinion, so if they don't get your work, your art, or your imagination, don't take it personally. And here's our last image. This image scored excellence, which is the highest honor that you can receive. And it also made the loan collection, which means out of 40 pictures representing your country, this one is going to do just that. And that's pretty exciting for sure. And I wanted to just kind of break this picture down because again, it is kind of a fine art picture. And I'll probably make a separate video on this image just because of the story behind it. Long story short, I set up because I saw a great composition. This is obviously some pillars with some birds um, on some water reflecting. And when I took the photo, it was just grossly overexposed and I really kind of liked the look of it. I thought it was just different. So I kind of went with it, made a few tweaks, and instead of having the nice background with some mountains there, um, I just kind of ended up with this. And I definitely used my feedback tip here. I did relay this to a few of my friends and colleagues and they loved it. They thought it was really interesting. I entered it and of course it did really well. Thanks guys. Well, now that you know everything there is to know about image competition, you can start winning your own awards. But today, I started a competition for you and all you have to do is run over to social media, upload your favorite picture, and make sure you use the hashtag hypnotic photo contest. It's that simple and it enters you for a chance to win a prize. This was a bit longer of a video, guys. I appreciate you sticking with me. I hope you like it. I hope you got something out of it. And if you did, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Drop your questions in the comments down below, of course. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.